Hi, this is Artifax Mars. I wanted to share a few quick facts, and you can learn something from this, especially if you're interested in making videos about making of Mars Station. It's my new series, science fiction mingled with some real research. Now, the first thing is, the method has changed since the first couple episodes, because what I've done what I was doing was I was trying to integrate the sound in with uh, the video without uh, separating them. And you don't have any kind of a delay. This is a problem with it. You don't have any kind of a delay. So you start your sound, and your screen capture program is going to pick up whatever program you're using, and it just looks like crud. So I was delaying it some long enough to uh, cut that out, be able to uh, clip it out later, and it just was sloppy in my opinion. So I adopted a new method, and you can learn something from this. What I do is I shoot the sound. I envision the scene in my mind. You have to plan these things out. I envision the scene in my mind, what they're going to do. I make the audio. Then I shoot the video clips. It would be like, uh, you know, generally about 20 seconds long in most cases. And then I, when I have everything done, I match the video to the audio. Save the clip and boom. There I have a clip. It seems to be working much better than the old system of storing the uh, text to speech program and then storing the video. Well, it wasn't working so hot. That's number one. And number two. Uh, notice everything is Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek. In that uh, corner there, that is a Federation class. That is a Federation Type 12 shuttlecraft. And of course, Star Trek in uniforms, including the ones that the feminists are going to hate. Because I don't like dumpy women in my videos. Sorry, not going to happen. Uh, the reason I use Star Trek props for a lot of this is that they're just simply the best for the money. I much prefer them as a genre that I'm familiar with. Science fiction, I wish Star Trek was less political, but anyway. So the uniforms are all of... Uh, Basically, Star Trek. Everything's Star Trek. Star Trek, for the most part. There's one ship in... That you'll see... It's called the Hammerhead. I don't think that's Star Trek prop. But most of them are. It's just what I need... Uh, for... Making... Videos. Otherwise, I'll spend from now until Doomsday... Making props. Well, I don't want to do that. Third thing is, where am I going with this? Well, uh, obviously, I'm going to integrate my Mars research into this to an extent and make it entertaining. Are there going to be aliens? You can bet on it. Wouldn't be any fun if there weren't. There's going to be all sorts of things. Uh, imagination is key. Well, I'm not imagining anything about uh, the uh, Mars photos. I may not have everything I need, every prop, every uh, thing that I need to do justice to things, but I will illustrate things. 
I'm completely serious about the research. Videos may be fun, but I am serious about the research. Period in the subject. This is actually... I'll show you. Here's a little uh, teaser. This is Federation Type 12 shuttle landing on Mars. You know, when I have a uh, special effects budget of 100 million like Hollywood does, then I'll have some better special effects. Till then, I have to use Second Life. This scene's going to be edited, by the way. It's not going to be in the finished product. But there you have it. Uh, I have alien artifacts to make sets on. Sets take time. But I'll do my best. I'm planning to release this on Sunday, which is the 4th, if I'm not mistaken. And... There, like I said, there will be surprises. Oh, those, uh, that cute girl you see and two others are from Cygnus B. Just to give you a uh, little clue. They weren't originally supposed to be part of the crew, but I decided that it was necessary to add some more characters. There's also a hologram and Possibly an irritating type character. As irritating as Q on Star Trek, but a little different. We'll have to wait and see on that. I haven't decided on an avatar. This is a problem. That's about it for now. We'll keep Mars Station updated. Thanks for watching.